oocyte retrieval procedure. So through a transvaginal scan, a probe will be inserted into the vagina. And this is one side of the ovary, which is studded with multiple follicles, stimulated because of the hormonal injections. This patient has got too many follicles, so that's why she's got more number. So this is the other ovary. And in the center, we will see the uterus. So here, a small needle will be directed into the ovary under ultrasound guidance. For this, the patient will undergo a small sedation and with a foot pressure pump, it should be pressed and by negative suctions, the follicular fluid is aspirated into the tubings. So each follicle will be aspirated under vision through ultrasound guidance. And the big follicles is supposed to contain a mature egg. So the procedure goes on and on till all the follicles are emptied. Tube change. So once a tubing is filled, they will show you the tube. Tube capacity is around 10 to 15 ml. So which will be transferred to the embryology lab and the fluid will be dispersed under a dish and examined under the microscope to check for the presence of a matured egg. As such, the procedure does not carry any major complications except that you have to be cautious about your puncturing and entries. Usually the procedure duration lasts it between changed. 15 to 20 minutes. So this completes the procedure. So the one ovary with all the bigger follicles are retrieved. Here is the uterus and this is the other ovary which has completely got empty. These small follicles which is left in place does not contain mature oocyte hence not retrieved.